Hi, adventurers. Welcome to Kennedy Space Center Complex. We are here doing all things space. We are going to see IMAX movies, museums, rockets, and at the end, stay till the end, we're going to see a launch. So please like, subscribe if you like what you see. Houston, I think we have a problem. What mission were you on? <laughs> So upon entering, you can buy tickets to the right. We did them online, which we suggest you do in advance. We are waiting right now to get on the bus tour to go through the Kennedy Space Center area where they have the rockets. And we're going to see the world's largest single story building. And someone just told me it is actually bigger than the Empire State Building. We just got on the bus and we asked the driver what side the big massive building was on and he said the right hand side. Seat so six seat two. six, we're seat six, right hand side, perfect view. We're gonna show you the largest one story building in the world. Yep. I'm gonna go as slow as I'm allowed to go and get as close as I'm allowed to get. And of course stop for pedestrians. A lot of foot traffic today. So take all the videos and pictures that you like, more than welcome to. I'm standing next to the crawler and transporter. They can carry the crawler up to a top speed of, wait for it, one mile per hour while carrying a rocket. Crawler number one is out in the open. You'll see a building on the right up here with some green piping. And then you'll um, have about a two to three second window for pictures. And then there'll be a building in the way and then additional time after. I'm John Hudson. This is Pad 39 of the Kennedy Space Center. I was a launch controller here, went from this very spot Man took off to fly to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. This is the launch pad exactly the way it was left from 1969. This is the firing room. Launch control for the Apollo mission. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sent. Man, the other mission is in my sky. The engines are on. percent of the mission rocket is not inhabitable this small area right here is for the astronauts so we're going to take you around to the other side and show you the size of the rocket and this is the apollo rocket that flew many missions up to the moon and to the landing of the moon now each time it has to change but this is the magnitude and the size of just part of it it's not the hundred percent of it it is massive. I'm gonna go stand underneath. And it is so big. Now this is rocket science, guys. Look at the size of those blasters in the back. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So we are standing in a viewing area. It's a stadium seating that you can go to their website and you can buy seats to watch the viewing, which is out this way about three miles. You're going to see Starlink and NASA. You're going to see Elon Musk over there. Blue Origin is way in the distance. And these are their sites where they go and they launch their rockets. It's pretty neat. So if you ever want to go, tip. Go on their website. And they have uh, different areas and different schedules. And you can buy a ticket. Like we're in Florida now and we have a lot of Falcon 9s every week. You can buy a ticket. Drive over, sit here, and watch the launch. Yeah. Good tip. And stay till the end. We're going to have a rocket launch for you. And here is the lunar rocket. This is what they landed on the moon with. Made out of metal, tin foil, and a million moving pieces. An amazing feat for mankind. Look at the footsteps. Check this out, guys. This is an actual piece of the moon. Lunar sample. And get a bunch of germs and touch a piece of the moon like every other thousand people that come in here today. This is the actual lunar vehicle from the Apollo 16 mission. This landed on the moon and they drove around in this. 
It looks like a beach chair. I mean, it did the job, but look how basic and simple it is. There's a satellite. There's GPS tracking. There's a, a video camera on the front. Two beach chairs and a controller. Let's go one around the moon. And here is the Astro Van. Check this out. This is how they shuttle the astronauts from preparation onto the shuttle. Pretty basic. So we're at the Space Cafe, and it's very space-like. So we don't have to speak to a human being. We just get in the kiosk, put our food on here like that, and it will tell us and how much it is. And we pay right here, never having to speak to a human. Just do it ourselves. We're going to do the hero walk. This is the walk that they do to get onto the rocket. I'm not sure if it's the actual, it could be a simulator. A short time later, history is For one incredible moment, we are one people with one history, watching our destiny unfold. It was a moment shared by an entire world. With these first steps, mankind stood on the highest ground, and we saw our planet as our home port in the endless ocean of space. All the different uh, astronauts. And I think this is the main one. Neil Armstrong, what a bore. So we just finished taking another tour and a show of the lunar landing. And now we are in their gift shop. And they have all kind of educational books. And of course, you can't go anywhere without having no Legos. That one's a really nice one. Book Creator Lego. I like that. Space. Here's a lunar module. The eagle. So, isn't that cool? And you know, like, this is the only part that pops off and leaves. Come back. Pretty neat. And there goes the spacecraft and a launcher. Oh, that's pretty neat. How much is the launcher? $14.99. So, the prices are reasonable. And every little kid has to have. Lunar landing playset. We finished at the bus tour. We're going to get back on the bus to go back to the center complex. And of course, we had to get a magnet. We always buy a magnet. But then I had to try the freeze dried gummy worms. And here we go. They're really good. They taste just like a gummy worm, but the texture of a Cheeto. They're good. Yum. You try one? Sure. I for the final step. I'll be dropping all over front of the Atlantis here. The magnitude and the size of this is incredible. They can't even describe how big is that. So we're back at the uh, Gateway Complex, and we stopped at the Orbit Cafe for a quick meal. They have about six different places you could eat. We, we went to the one with, like, all the sandwiches. Quick, fast. There aren't any registers. It's just like a Wawa food market. Um... A little salty, but not bad. There is another place that you can get a bowl. They have a Starbucks. They have everything that you could want. So when you come, that's another tip. And land like an airplane. And it's going to be reusable. Can you throw the rocket? It's not a rocket. It's a shuttle.
This is the Atlantis Space Shuttle. It was in service for 26 years. It flew 33 missions. It is the first spacecraft and helped build the ISS space station. So if you can see all the tiles on the front, those are the heat shields. Each one is numbered. So when they come back, they take this whole thing apart and you can see the smudges and the burn marks here and they determine where the re-entry point heat is the most. So they built this and it is basically a glider. It sits on the two rocket boosters to get out of the atmosphere and into space. And then it pretty much just glides around in order to come home inside here where it had all the payload and the ISS space station was built by this carrying everything up and back in 33 missions. The payload is 15 foot diameter and it was set because it was the smallest size module that humans could live in. The length is 60 feet by 18 meters. This is the Hubble telescope. This is what lets us see deep into the universe. The Hubble Spacecraft Telescope and his immensely powerful observatory orbiting more than 300 miles above the Earth. This is the capsule of the space shuttle cut in half so you can see what it was like. Basically like a flying a plane. I'm in a problem. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. It's not Star Wars. It could be Star Wars. We're going to Mars. The space shuttle is made up of 2.5 million parts by the cheapest bidder. This is what going into the ISS space station is like. Welcome back to Earth. <laughs> so they have a simulator here, much like the one in Epcot, where it simulates you taking off, but they only have a hard ride here. Epcot has a soft ride. This one, you're really gonna twist, turn, and go all around in the simulator. This is the Astro van that takes them to the shuttle. They take them to the space station up there. Here is the history of the space shuttle from the very first Enterprise in 1977, the unfortunate disaster of the Challenger in 1986, and Discovery Atlantis, and the last one, Endeavor. After Kennedy Space Complex. Hope you enjoy it. It was a wonderful day. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the notification for our next episode. You know, Bye. Rocket Park. So you can come and see the replicas of all the rockets that the United I know. States has lifted off. Look at that one with the shark head. That's Doesn't look cool. like this is the opening, but so we came here for one day. You can definitely come here for two days, see all the movies, all the attractions. Uh, and we spent eight hours here today. We got here just after opening at nine o'clock and stayed until five. So thanks for joining us here today at Kennedy Space Center. Is this from Armageddon? NASA. Bruce Willis, where are you? Mars Rover Vehicle Navigation. Wow, look at the wheels on that thing. They're hollow. The color's so cool. And we got our flag here. Wow. The heavy elements that make up planets, stars, and even our own bodies.
our time here today at the Kennedy Space Center. We hope you enjoyed what we showed you. If you like our content, think about subscribing, hit that like button, and as always, join us on our next epic adventure. And here we go. We are 30 seconds away, and this is a film of the live rocket launch that we were showing you inside Kennedy Space Center. It was the day before, but because of Hurricane Debbie that was coming through Florida, um, it was scrubbed. And it looks like we're here ready to start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And here we are. We're going up to the International Space Station and we're leaving Cape Canaveral. Look force on that rocket. Wow. Well, so we should be able to see the second stage going deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. We will be staying in the inner space, not going to the out outer space because we are just dropping off supplies to the space station. And uh, that's just an incredible sight. So if you like what you see, think about subscribing, hit that notification button. We would love to have you in our community. Wow. Look at that. I think we're going into the area for Sonic Boom. And here we go. This is amazing. Hey, thanks for watching. And please join us on our next epic adventure. Take care.